Uh, Brigitte, it certainly sounds like the chancellor has had a change of heart over the last few months. Uh, we all know the praise that she got for welcoming so many displaced people, while people were other on the other side sounding an alarm that there needed to be caution built into it. Now it sounds like she is toughening on that and saying, I'm not going to have a repeat of that influx again. Well, she obviously is reaping the results of uh, what she has sowed. And she can no longer hide behind or cover the effect like what they did in New Year's Eve in Cologne where they tried to underplay that it wasn't refugees because they did not want to alienate the German public. Today, with the Internet and cable television, the German government can no longer hide that this is actually driven by Islamic refugees that they have imported into the country. And right now, the German people know for fact that their government put them in danger and actually actually threw some of them out of their homes in order to put refugees in their homes. So Angela Merkel knows she is in trouble and she needs to turn around really fast if she wants to be reelected. Larry, is it fair those are coming forward uh, to say they're calling these, quote, Merkel's dead, these people who lost their lives at the Christmas market, dozens more injured. Uh, is it fair to say that? Is it overstating it? Well, I think it is. We don't even know who did it. We don't know if this person was a refugee or whether he or she was born in the country. It's just like a, uh, the massacre we had down in Orlando. That was a Native American. We've got terrorism all the time. The young man who was just convicted of ki uh, going into an African American church and killing people. Terrorism is a tactic. You're not going to get rid of it. But ISIS, got didn't, all kinds I, ISIS doesn't come forward and claim responsibility for things like the horrific, tragic Charleston shooting. But they do encourage these kinds of vehicular attacks in their own magazine in November 2016. That's what they called for. And now they've taken credit for this. Well, there's no doubt about that feeds into their narrative. And what they're doing is because we're beating them, we've killed something like 50,000 of them uh, in the Middle East. They're going into these other areas to show they're still relevant and to attract, uh, attract more recruits. But remember, was this a lone wolf? Was this with somebody who was reading the magazine? Or did they, uh, did they train them? You have people get inspired by all kinds of things to do these things. But something Merkel said that you didn't show, she said, we can't give in to the fear, because if we do, they win. And they had information about these uh, <clears throat> Christmas markets. They were warned something mm -hmm. might happen. Why they didn't do it, I don't know. Well, Brigitte, we know that there are, there are cities all over the world, including New York City. I've seen a very heavy presence on the streets here. P you know, they do what they can, but short of shutting down our Western way of life, you know, how do we avoid innocent people getting caught up in attacks like this? When does it stop? Well, well again, at this time, the radicals are feeling empowered. They are not stopping because now they are able to carry their own jihad, basically sitting in front of the Internet, learning how to put a bomb under your mother's kitchen or how to use a machete to basically kill people or how to drive a truck into a busy market. And as a matter of fact, the market in Germany, they had barricaded the street. He went around the barricade and over the sidewalk in order to kill people. So it is becoming a very challenging to detect these things. But this is where the American public and public in general plays a major role in being vigilant and keeping their eyes open on someone acting suspiciously, somebody fidgeting, somebody uh, who's about to carry something. You can tell the tail signs when somebody's looking around because they're afraid or they are worried or they're about to do something. Uh, if somebody's taking pictures of doors or cameras around buildings, places where tourists usually don't take pictures. This is just some tips that the, that the people and in particular the American public, especially here in America right now watching us, can do to be able to keep their eyes open. On our website, actforamerica.org, we have a program called mm -hmm. Open Eyes Save Lives. I encourage people to go there to learn more tips on what to look out for and how they can protect themselves if something happens, if an attack happens this Christmas. Yeah, well, we know the State Department warned Americans against traveling in certain areas. Uh, those alerts have not gone away, and it seems like they're heightened this holiday season more than ever. Uh, Larry and Brigitte, thank you both.